Okay, so first thing, I found this little sign, I guess, at a thrift store, and I thought it was really cute, and it had potential to just be something else, to be something cute. So I took it home, painted it. As you can see here, I put some bonding boss on it, some primer, and then, so I'm gonna flip back and forth for a few minutes between projects. This is a little birdhouse that I found at a yard sale. I was initially going to make a project with this, like I was gonna build a little thing and add it to a spindle and make like a little outside decoration, but I ended up not doing that because I sold all my spindles recently on whatnot actually. And so I ended up just deciding to paint this and just give it a little freshen, a little freshen up, you know, give it a little makeover. There was some little handwriting on the bottom. I do end up painting over that though. But anyway, I just, everything that I painted in this video, I just did like one or two, probably two coats of bonding boss and primer to get it primed. Okay, and on this chicken, I cleaned it up real good, and then I took the bonding boss, and well, slick stick first. I took slick stick because this is very glossy, obviously, and you have to paint it with like that primer so that your paint will stick. Otherwise, it'll just, it seems to just chip off, in my experience, so slick stick really helps with that. So just got a couple coats of that on there and then I went in on here with buttercream and gave it a couple, probably one, actually I think one coat of buttercream. Okay, so just some more painting, more layers of paint and then I got a different paintbrush this paintbrush is from dixie bell and it's like a pointed a little brush there you can see it's so much handier than that other big brush especially for like these little things like with a little the little details on the birdhouse and then the little details on the top of this container um it's just it's such a nice little brush but anyway i gave this a couple coats all the same all self-explanatory um just kind of showing you guys what i did here and then we'll get to the fun part here in a second so like I said, now we're getting to the fun part. I took the Van Dyke Brown Wax by Dixie Belle and I just kind of dabbed it down into that butterfly to kind of bring out some of those details. Um, I feel like I could have put a little bit more on there and brought them out even more, but I did want it to be subtle. So I think it turns out pretty cute. And then I just did a little bit of brown wax on the bottom also, or I guess this is glazed, sorry. And then, and then that was pretty much done. Okay, and then I lost a little bit of my centered footage on this part, but I, uh, just um, brown glazed this part as well. I just kind of dry brushed the brown glaze on it just to kind of, I don't know, give it that look. I like that look. And then back to this chicken, I put another coat of buttercream on it. Okay, and then I put a final coat on this little wood piece here, let that dry very good, and then I took this transfer. And like I mentioned earlier, I had some extra of this piece, this transfer, this style, this design, is what I'm trying to say, and I just wanted to get it used up, and it fit pretty nicely on this thing, so I just went ahead and put that on there. So I obviously sped this process up, but it probably took me 10 to 15 minutes of just, you know, pushing that onto the surface. And then I decided to paint the back because I will probably be selling this on whatnot or anywhere. I guess I'll just be trying to sell this piece is what I'm trying to say. And I um, also, I thought about when I did paint this initially on the back, I thought about making it reversible, but then I just, I don't know, it kind of ran out of ideas. So I, I didn't do anything on that side yet. But I also think that would be cute when you styled it, if you just hung it up on the wall and you just put a wreath in front of it or something, that would be really cute. Or you could hang like a hang a picture on it like maybe i'll do that when i style it up for the pictures for you guys anyway finished up that chicken there with the more paint and did i put wax on it i don't know anyway then i added some greenery to the bottom of this little birdhouse and i end up adding the greenery i add some ribbon and i think this just turns out so cute it looks so i don't know it just looks so fresh and clean and pretty i love the way this turns out Okay, and then that ribbon that I'm using there, I got a whole trash bag full of ribbon at a yard sale for $5. Like, I'm not kidding. It's a whole trash bag full. And this was in there, so I pulled this out. I was using this on there, and I was just, I was so excited. I'm, I love when that kind of thing happens. <laughs> anyway, there's how this turned out.
Okay, and then I took the some of that greenery that's sitting there and some of that lace that I was telling you about right there that you can see and that bird's nest and I just kind of used that to make a cute little display to set in this little trinket dish and I staged it up like that and I took some pictures of it like that. I do end up, I've already sold this and whatnot, but I, um, yeah, I just thought that was really cute in that. You could do it like that or you could actually just take all that out and use it as an actual little trinket box, you know? And then back to this, we are adding ribbon to everything today. We take some ribbon and I added it to this little part on here. Like I said, I didn't, I don't really know. I just had extra of my transfer, extra of some ribbon. And I was like, this looks cute. So this is how this ended up. And like I said, you could just, you could definitely turn this around and use the back for something. You could just like add like a little wreath. You can make this reversible. I don't know. There's a lot of options. So sometimes I get like overwhelmed with the amount of options there are with DIYing. You know what I mean? Like you could have bought, I could have bought any transfer to put on this. It would have been beautiful, but there's just the idea for you guys just kind of to help with inspiration. If you see a piece like this at a thrift store, you could grab it, fix it up, do your own style, whatever. I am learning that I think shabby chic is my style. I think shabby chic is my favorite decor style. Like the pinks and the lace is just my absolute favorite. I've always, you know, gravitate toward that. And I think, Anyway, I think that's my style, but I do like DIYing in other styles too. So, so if you're not already subscribed and you like that kind of style, definitely consider subscribing. I do, cause see, I do like this kind of style too, like a little bit of like a farmhousey style. Um, or if I see these pieces, I like to grab them and redo them. I don't necessarily like to keep them, but I like to DIY them and then I can sell them to anyone who's interested. And I just, I don't know, it's fun. It's, I love doing it. I love seeing something in a new way and you know, blah, 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 whatever. So anyway, you can see what I'm doing here. I just took the wax or it's, it's glaze. I keep calling it wax, but it's Van Dyke Brown glaze. And I did that on the chicken and that's basically all there was to this. You just kind of go back and forth with it till you get it how you want it, you know? Okay. And then moving on to this for a minute, I cut out this chicken transfer piece from this transfer because I also had this transfer I bought this on sale one day I think it was like nine or ten dollars and you know I was like I can't pass that up it's got like 50 little pieces in it so I got the chicken out and put it on this metal I think this is a burner cover but I'm not 100% sure what this even is but it's kind of rusty and chippy a little bit so I thought this was just a really cute piece that needed to be used for something so like I said I put this chicken transfer on there this was super easy and it stuck super well super fast this was a this was a good, quick, easy project. And then back to my lace that I have. I have a bunch, like I told you. So I added some to the top of this, and I added a hanger. And this was a super simple little flip for this little pan thing. Okay, and then I just propped the sign up on this box. That way I could keep working. I was being impatient and for the hot glue to dry. And then I just hot glued the bow to the front, hot glued the ribbon to the back. Super easy. Okay, and then here I forgot that I switched the bow out to this blue ribbon. This was in the bag as well that I got with the all the ribbon for five dollars and all the like fabric. So I switched it out for the blue because I just thought the white it was just too much white, too much lacy. You know what I mean? Just all kind of blended in. Needed some contrast, so we added the blue bow. And I just love this blue bow. This this was so pretty. I love that blue. Anyway, that's that. That's how that turned out. These two I thought they looked really cute together. So yeah. Okay, then moving on to this project, this is about exactly the same as what I just did, but this is a white burner cover, and it has like fruit on the back, and I have a couple of these, but I also had this horse transfer, and it fit perfectly on that piece there, so that's what I decided to add to this one, and I, like I said, basically the exact same concept, so I'm going to speed this process up for you and just get to the point, but yeah. So here I was just trying to decide which ribbons I wanted to use, which lacy stuff that I wanted to add. I do end up, I think, going with the blue with the whole thing. Uh, I think it looks really nice in contrast to the white background and all the things. I think it, maybe I put a white bow on. We'll see here in a second. But like I said, same exact process as the last one. So I ended up gluing a little blue bow on there. But then after I looked at it for a minute, I decided to take it off. And then I add like a white lacy bow. It's actually sitting right there on the table. And I put that under the blue one. And then I just put the blue one on top. You'll see it here in a second in the final product. But anyway, here's a look at how everything turned out. Here's the birdhouse. I think it might be my favorite in this video. Because it's actually, I would actually keep this and put it in my house. It's neutral. It's cute. 
Um, I really like this one as well. I just don't have any colors like this in my house, so I would definitely probably take that to my booth or something. This is a cute little thing too. There's a dog hair on it, so that's really cute. Please ignore that. Ugh, my dog. My Anything I take out into my garage, it gets, it gets dog hair on it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let me all, let me know what you all think in the comments, and thank you all so much for watching this video if you made it this far, and like the horse thing, like I said here in a second, you'll see I added the other ribbon to it, and I think that really made it look better than just the blue, so thank you all so much for watching. And you guys, please go follow me on Whatnot. It is an auction website where you get to bid on the items that you want. There's all kinds of categories. It is, I've been selling on there for about three months now, and it's just been so, so, so fun. So definitely go check it out. I sell all these things will be available on there if anyone's interested. And when you first sign up, you get a $15 coupon to use at anybody's sales. So that's definitely amazing. Um, definitely go check it out. Like I said, link will be in the description box.